Good afternoon. Happy Monday. Today we are continuing our efforts on search engine optimization in 2021. Um, I hope your online visibility explodes next year, but today we are going to focus on how to add a user in Google Search Console. Uh, this is brought to you from Cash Data Consulting LLC. I'm the owner, Kashif Mughal. So let's jump right into it. If you, if you are not aware of what Search Console is, I'm using SE for that, uh, it's really uh, a good tool from Google that can improve your online visibility in 2021. Um, it has a lot of features, but you can upload an XML sitemap so Google can find you and they can crawl you. Another thing that we have run into, especially with some clients, is that if there are any issues with the uh, Google crawler or the search bot, this is about the only way Google's going to interact with you. They're not going to come and knock on your door and say, hey, what's going on with your website? But they will send you some messages if you have the Google Search Console up and running, you know, with your website, okay? So here's my joke for the day. Search Console was the artist formerly known as Google Webmaster Tools. Uh, there's a lot of information and resource online that talks about Google Webmaster Tools. In fact, I think if you go to the YouTube channel for Search Console, it also still says Webmasters on it. So just be aware that Search Console is pretty much the same thing um, as Webmaster Tools and vice versa, okay? Well, how do you get to Search Console in the first place? So here's the address, and I'm going to uh, jump right into that. So before I even do that, let me show you. <clears throat> so um, I haven't logged in yet, but just to highlight the address, so this is search.google.com slash search dash console. So when you click on that, right, I'm going to, most likely it's going to log in. So it already logged me in. And if you, you know, if you are new to this, it's actually going to ask you to log in just with your Gmail account, okay? And if you have not, uh, if you have not set up a Google and a, sorry, Google Search Console account, you will have to come in here. We have a lot of these, but you will uh, simply click on Add Property. There are a lot of videos and resources on how to add your website to this. We're not going to cover that, but uh, let's jump into it. I do want to cover a few more things before we show you how to add a user. So, you know, a question may be, why even grant access to a user? right, in Search Console. Well, you may be working with a fellow colleague on your team, an associate, or you may, you know, hire an external agency, okay, like Cash Data working on digital marketing efforts in 2021. So this is why you would be needing to add a user to Search Console. Now, as far as levels, there's really two main permission levels that you can grant. There's the full level, which is the, uh, not the highest level, but basically gives you you know, any, um, it gives you access to do anything. Um, the one we prefer that you assign to other people is a restricted level. This is essentially going to be giving them read-only access, okay? Um, here's a good article, and I, I highlighted the fact that they're still using this. Uh, so let me just go over here. They're using Webmaster Tools, but if I go here and I type this in there, you know, this one actually is is not bad. They talk about managing owners, users' permissions in Search Console. In fact, what they even do is if I click here, uh, and by the way, they, they highlight some of the different uh, features, it actually walks you through this. I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to highlight that this is definitely a good resource for you in order to uh, do that. Now, as far as permissions are concerned, I also have another one here, um, link from Link, uh, a company called Links Management. They they kind of cover what are the different levels. So here's the permission, here's the um, actual level, and you know what can and what they can do. You'll notice in this last column, this is essentially everything. I guess this is an image, but the restricted user is the one, and you can see pretty much. They're a view only. So this is a, this is a good one to know as well. Um, we are really going to just move forward and just give you the demo. This is going to be a short, 
quick video today. So again, if you forgot how do you log into it, you're going to go to search.google.com. We actually have multiple uh, Search Console accounts. Uh, some of them are internal accounts. Some of them are clients that we actively manage for online marketing. But for today's demo, we are going to focus on our SEO company, which is datatechnologyllc.com, which is also the company that's bringing you this video. So definitely check us out. Um, and the, the user we are going to give access to is bahal.sahib at gmail.com. So I'm just going to copy that. And let me switch back to Search Console. Um, this is the website that I already mentioned. So how do you how do you do that? Okay, so really what you're going to do is you're go, you're logged in you're gonna you're going to scroll down on the left side <clears throat> you see settings another way you can get to this is over up here but i'm going to show you the easy way so click on settings when you do that um it basically brings up um, this dialog box it tells you uh you're the verified owner uh you know who are the users and what permissions do they have right now there's two users so I'm going to click on this. On this screen, it says, um, what are the users and what access do they have? I'm going to simply click on this blue uh, button on the right where it says add user. And then I'm going to cut and paste this one. And so it's very important that you pay attention here and the permission, you don't wanna give them full if you do a drop down it gives you these restricted. Once again, the restricted user really gives them uh, read-only access because if they are a you know agency and they don't need to change your settings, they are really interested in looking at queries and whatnot. That's the permission you should use. I'm going to click on Add. Now this should refresh itself. One thing I don't like about this, um, I would have liked to see an option to send a quick email to this account. So if I switch to Gmail, I believe I am logged in. Um, let's just verify. Yeah, I'm logged into this. I'm going to refresh my email. I love getting emails. I really don't. But it would be nice in a situation like this to, you know, get a quick FYI. Maybe it's going into, I don't think it should go into trash or spam. But let's, let's find out. Um, all mail, maybe. Okay, new device signed in. Yeah, I don't see this. So I guess a little bit irritating, but regardless, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to Search Console. I'm, I'm going to see one thing you can notice here is look at all these accounts or what they call properties that we're logged into, right? When I switch this to this account, which is again, Bagal Sahib, and then when I um, when I go here, okay, I was like, oops. Um, when I click here, interesting. So let me refresh. I think I just gave this one access. All right. So I'm having some technical difficulties here. Let's try this. Refresh. This is access. And then let me just log out. Maybe maybe log out. Log back in. Sign out. Sometimes the signing in, signing out makes a difference. But let me try this one more time. I love the fact that when you are doing demos, things blow up, and that's actually a very high probability bet. If I if I was going to Las Vegas, I would definitely do that. So it didn't uh, it didn't take that. So let me see if I can find Search Console here. Well, I may just have to type it in. I think. So I'm just going to run over this. All right, let me just try Search Console. Let me just do it this way. <clears throat> All right, so if I go back in, I should have technically, okay, so now it works. Somehow I had to log back in. It actually is uh, walking you through, through a... Sort of, sort of like a tutorial, but um, wizard, but I already have this. So again, back to just making sure. So I'm logged in as Buckle. Now I do see the account. I believe I just basically had to log out, log back in. But now you have access, right? If I go to performance, for example, 
it's telling me that I, you know, my account had 111,000 uh, impressions. And then out of that, I got 100 clicks. Okay. Um, you can go to the sitemap. You can also look at um, other important information. You can certainly go back to the overview. Okay. So these are the, these are the, um, the clicks the number of valid pages we have mobility and other items okay so that's that's pretty much uh, what we wanted to cover lastly you know if you found this helpful please pretty please subscribe to our channel like this video and then definitely connect with us we are based in plano texas um, even if you're stuck with something we are pretty good about responding to inquiries and quick questions you have Send us a quick note or um, connect with me and my contact information is on the bottom. Um, and other than that, have a good day. We will see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you could like that video, that would be great. Uh, for additional information, you are welcome to connect with us through all of these avenues. We have our website, so that's datatechnologyllc.com. Um, I can uh, show you this right here. So this is, uh, this is our company. We're based in Dallas, Texas. Uh, you are also welcome to visit our social media pages. So we're on facebook.com slash Dallas SEO by cash. Um, and also on Twitter, which is the same one. So let me uh, show you that uh, here. We try to definitely post um, on a regular basis and uh, there's lots of uh, ideas and whatnot re related to digital marketing. Um, and same thing here on uh, Twitter. So it's uh, twitter.com slash Dallas SEO by cash. Um, definitely engage with us, get, you know, jump into the conversation and uh, that would be great. And finally, uh, there's two more things. Um, we, we are on LinkedIn, so this is our URL for that. And um, definitely on YouTube, so it's uh, youtube.com slash buggle. And so let me just show you that uh, so LinkedIn is right here, by the way. Um, and then uh, YouTube, we have, uh, we have more than um, 200 videos, so definitely uh, I would think you would find the um, channel quite useful. Um, other than that, uh, once again, um, I appreciate uh, watching the video and you have a good day.